Too small to be noticed. A sad thing. Yesterday I went to uh, I went to San Francisco, the Young Museum, and uh, saw Georgia O'Keeffe's exhibition. And uh, so Georgia O'Keeffe. She painted in a huge size. We say larger than life. And she wanted people to see, to see things, to see things in detail. And even let the New Yorkers, busy New Yorkers, to see things in detail. And this exhibition is very, very inspiring. Life, sometimes these little things, they are so tiny. They are just too tiny to be noticed, but they exist. We are so tiny. We are out of the billion peoples. We are just tiny, tiny little thing. But uh, we are here in this world. We have a reason to exist. We have a reason to not to be ignored, even if other people ignore us, like this little flower. It blossoms for nothing, not for any recognition. There are millions of these little flowers. No one recognizes them. And if I did not stop here, taking a picture, taking a video, talking to it, it will never be recognized. It will never be noticed. But still they exist. And these millions of little tiny things compose of our life. is composed of millions, billions of these little moments. And uh, yesterday there was one thing I thought, I feel so deeply, profoundly thought, is about uh, our thoughts, about our individual value and um, <clears throat> Georgia O'Keeffe she she mentioned or she said one thing about abstract 
abstract, even when you paint realistic things. I think I will copy this sentence and put on the description. I lost, I forgot what she has said exactly. This is not uh, the original Hagunt, but uh, the, the thought is that uh, abstract feeling is a very, very profound feeling. And uh, even when you paint realistic things, you need to have an abstract sense of it. And you have to convey a very abstract sense into this uh, realistic painting. And that's the core of, uh, of painting. I don't know how to, how to explain these thoughts, but um, it is... I just use my own thoughts to elaborate or to tell my own feeling of it. Abstract, we should see things in a higher level and uh, we should have the ability to conclude from millions of little detail things into an abstract concept, a formula, like a math formula, mathematics formula, like uh, a spirit or like uh, an out, outer higher spirit. We need to have this higher spirit in us and then we can have uh, uh, analytical eyes, the line, we can have, um, we can use our rational to see the world from a higher level and sink it in a deeper sense. And uh, there are many, many famous artists and in the museum, there are so many works, some we can understand, some we cannot understand. And I always hear people say that abstract art is uh, sometimes it's uh, three years old or, or worse than three years old people's painting. Those part I still do not understand and uh, I cannot make uh, make any judgment on it. Maybe because they are thinking different, maybe because the artists, they think uh, they are leading a new trend and uh, it is hard to accept. It is not easy to accept. It is not easy to form into a new thought, a new trend of art. But the people who really bring it up, you need courage to do it really think bold, think loud, but um, something about us is, uh, what do I say, we, we are not famous and uh, that should not stop us from thinking deeply, thinking profoundly. Everybody has the right to think, to think deeply and think profoundly and think our own thought. And we should not allow us to, to discourage ourselves from thinking deep. We are not famous. That does not mean that we should not be able to think in front of uh, spirit we are all the same we are not one inch lower than a great person the so-called great person they are just another human being and they thought something they say something and they got respect 
from from the war because they have experienced the things and li they lived a life loud and get noticed that does not mean that we are any shallower any lower than them if everyone write a story about their own life everyone is the most famous person so whichever way we live we live a unique life a very very individual independent unique life this nobody can take away nobody can take away our spirit our right to think deeply profoundly and uh, you are very unique we are very unique we just did not get our life published we do our painting we are nothing we are nothing below anybody else we are all good for our own goodness there is one thing that we are so good we are so unique that another person cannot do for example we are so good and we become president and nobody else is as good as us to become president so this person this person is one of us he becomes president and we are so good and we just we cannot cook we cannot dress well we cannot clean up our house we cannot make a good living we cannot drive a good car we cannot make a lot of money to support our life but we are just so good and we can do a painting and we can do a painting that uh, the whole world recognizes us and this person is becoming the most famous painter or artist and this person is one of our human being and he does not do anything else good he only does one thing good that is painting same as us I am nothing good but I am so unique in the sense that nobody else can do what I can do that is to be me to be Yang Hai Yi and you are so good at one thing that nobody else can do as good even a tiny bit as good as you that is you yourself Finding yourself is our, finding ourself is our life goal. There is a place for us. Some people to be good to be a teacher. Some people to be good to be a lawyer. Some people to be good to be a doctor. Some people to be good to be a cleaner, a chef, anything a babysitter there is one place that make us fulfill our life our life goal I remember one of our students to a speech contest and she brought me to think so deeply she said my dream when I was young I had many many dreams I dreamed to be president I dreamed to be the first American female president I dreamed to be uh, an astronaut an astronaut I dreamed to be an Oscar winner but finally there was one day touching me so much that I went back to my school I saw my nursery school teacher and the nursery school teacher remembered 
every single student of our name. And she touched our heart. And she made such a big difference of our life. She made us remember that we are so unique. We are important in another person's life. So her dream, this student, her dream is to, be, to become a nursery teacher. I have never thought so... I have never been so so touched by these thoughts and this is such a profound thought. So be yourself, be the best of yourself and that's the way to fulfill your life. That's the way we fulfill our life. And we all have one place. This one place fits us the best. And when we find the best place to fit ourselves, no matter what career it is, no matter how much money we make, that is the fulfillment of our life. We are living, a lot of us, we are living, if you are watching this video, most likely that you are living a civilized life. You will not die of hunger, right? There is a way of living. It's just how much you want your goal or how how you how you put a material level or measurement of of your goal if reaching your dream is the best is all your goal if finding that place is your goal it has nothing to do with money it has nothing to do with the position it has nothing to do with other people. It has nothing to do with anything else. It is your own life. It is our own life. And there is one person who is responsible for our life. That is ourself. That is you, yourself. So, by seeing these people, famous people, seeing exhibition and going out to see the leaders, to see the influential people, to see the famous people, it should gain us confidence in the sense that uh, he is one of us, she is one of us. We are all equal in the sense, in the sense of spirit. I don't know whether this is what I thought. I don't think I have explained it as much as I want to. And uh, I think you are all so good. You can develop this thought. And every time when I post something, when I do some blah, 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 there are always people doing so much better than me, doing so much better in developing the salt and developing it into a much more profound, much more rich, much richer and much deeper and uh, much more human, much, much more approachable. I really hope you can make comments on this video so we can develop these thoughts about the meaning of our life, 
about the value of our existence and about the true individualism, the true meaning of an individual, not about the position, not about the job title. It's about reaching your goal, finding the best place in your life, in our life. Let's hear the nature. Bye-bye, friends.